What's going on? So, big day today. Uh, huge thanks to all of you. I hit a thousand subscribers, finally. The trick to running a successful YouTube channel, and I've known this forever, is consistency. Consistency in your content as far as quality goes, as far as what you're actually, like theme-wise, what you're actually doing, consistency on uploads, consistency on everything, which I've never had. <laughs> For me, YouTube has always been just fun. Um, not trying to make a job out of it, just trying to have fun with it, because I like making videos. That's why there's videos about my car, um, guns, political stuff, uh, news type videos, uh, tech stuff, all different kinds of stuff, because it's all in fun. And since I started this ISP series and started uploading regularly once a week, uh, the growth has been unreal. Weekly uploads make a huge difference. That's why I'm sticking with this for now, um, showing the, the development and the build out of the ISP, not only because of the growth, but because of the response from all of you, or most of you. <laughs> The response overall has been incredibly positive. I have people tell me that I am a inspiration to them. And, you know, when I started this, I never thought anything like that would happen. That's, that's crazy. It's very cool. So I keep this going to show that you don't have to be an expert to do this. You don't have to know everything there is to know. I kind of poke fun at myself saying I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I know a little bit more than I let on because it's kind of amusing to watch people freak out that I don't know what a feed horn is. Like I couldn't have Googled that. It, it's, it's all in fun, guys. Come on, play along. <laughs> I have people warn me that my reputation is going to be ruined or something. And it's like, come on, really? Really? I think I'll live if some people on Facebook think I'm a moron. The biggest thing about this channel and, and doing the ISP in general is just go do it. Whatever you're trying to do. Do it. No one can do it for you. It's your job to do it if you want to do it. Do your research. We have the the largest resource in the history of mankind at our fingertips everywhere we go. Right here. You can look up whatever you want, whatever you want. If you're thinking about building ISP, hit up the interwebs and check it out. Make it happen. That's exactly what I did. Um, it took a little over a year to get it all put together. <laughs> to get it all put together and to get everything um, actually finally up and running, but you know, that that's just how it goes. I ended up spending uh, about $10,000 initially. People ask me all the time what I spend and well, it, it really doesn't matter because every build out is going to be different. Um, I originally went with 24 gigahertz antennas, again, live and learn, and those were $6,000 for the pair just right there. If I did it again, I would have done these five gigahertz antennas from the get not only do they work a lot better, they're a lot cheaper. So just go out there and do it. If you don't know everything, there's people out there that'll help you, <laughs> whether you want help or not sometimes. There's actually way more resources when it comes to uh, the whole wireless internet service provider thing than I ever would have thought. When I started doing this, it was just an idea I had. I didn't even know it was a thing. I didn't know anybody even did this, let alone did I like know anybody that did. I, I, I thought I was nuts. Like <laughs> I'm sure other people thought I was crazy too. You know, you're starting a what, you know, what are you doing? I had no idea this was a thing. Just made it happen. You can do it too. Just go out there and do it. So now that everything's up and running though, uh, not a whole lot going on as far as, you know, network stuff, uh, still tinkering around with the server. Um, they're up and running for the most part. I still got to get uh, CRM, cranking but whatever <laughs> i'll do it whenever not in a huge hurry it's not super mission critical so right now everything's kind of at a nice holding point i'm just signing people up at this point i'm going up uh to meet a new subscriber here in about half an hour uh word is starting to spread which i was kind of thinking would happen i where i'm at there are no internet options um there's like I said before, you know, DSL and satellite, and that's it. Uh, satellite sucks, and the DSL down here is basically useless because all the phone lines were laid in, like, the 50s or 60s or something. So you get really slow, completely useless speeds. It, it's, it's awful. So I figured once it hit kind of critical mass, word would start to spread and, and subs would come in quicker and quicker, and that's kind of what's happening. 
it's starting to to gain traction and, and gain some speed so that's good um i'm not pushing it super hard yet still uh I still got to go put the other radio on the other sector antenna, so I'm not <laughs> I'm not 100% built yet. Uh, that just takes two minutes, and as soon as I get some people on that side of the neighborhood that want network, I'll just go plug it in. It's already up there and ready to roll. I just haven't done it yet. But yeah, everything's up and running, so it's kind of a holding pattern at this point. You're you're just kind of you know one, once it's up and built, it's maintenance. So once again, thank you all. Everyone who watches and subscribes, even if you don't subscribe, if you watch, thanks for coming by. Hit the damn subscribe button. Mm. Uh, what would you guys like to see? What, what would you like to see more of? Uh, I'm, I'm all ears or eyes. <laughs> Leave a comment down below uh, what you would like to see more of or if you have questions or whatever, feel free. <laughs> if I can't answer it, I'll steer you in the right direction as best I can or, or I'll say I don't know. <laughs> for now, have a good one and... Thanks for watching.